Hello and welcome to another video from Midas Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we're looking at the 1979 release by AMT and Matchbox from their Star Trek The Motion Picture series of uh, plastic model kits. And this particular kit we're looking at today is of the Klingon Battle Cruiser, or the Klingon Cruiser as it says on the box. And this is the one that we saw at the beginning of the motion picture um, as it was attacking uh, Vija. Okay, so this is the box it comes in. And it says, AMT, new, super detailed, new rainbow effect decals, new rub down transfers, over 15 inches long assembled and display stand included. It says Star Trek, the motion picture, Klingon cruiser. Uh, unassembled model kit and it's got all the copyright information 1979 Paramount Pictures Corporation all rights reserved on the bottom right hand corner okay so that is the front of the box now as with all of these model kits at the time the back of the box were just completely blank there was nothing on the back of the boxes so I'm not going to waste any time looking at that so let's go to the side of the box and this says new Star Trek the motion picture Klingon cruiser featuring super detailed display on stand included or suspending space. It says no fuss, rub down transfers, no water needed. Over 15 inches long. And it says peel off, press on rainbow effect decals, no water needed. And there's an image of the um, model itself. It says Plastic Hobby Kit, age 8 and up, 1979, Lesney, Lesney Products Corporation. Uh, it says TM designates trademarks of Paramount Pictures Corporation, made and li uh, litho in USA. Uh, S971801, model manufactured by Lesney AMT Corporation, and exclusive license from Paramount Pictures Corporation, the trademark owner. Okay, so let's just turn the box around to the side, or the, or the um, edge, and it says... Let's just come back a little bit there. Let me just drop the light down a little bit as it gives. No, it's, yeah, that's a bit better. It's a little bit dark there. Let's put that light back on. There we are. So it says AMT, easy to assemble plastic hobby kit, ages eight and up. Super detailed, new rainbow effect decals, new rub down transfers, over 15 inches long assembled, display stand included or suspending space. Star Trek The Motion Picture, Klingon Cruiser, item number S971, and you've got an image of the model here, and it says new. And let's just switch around to the other side. And again, it says Star Trek The Motion Picture, Klingon Cruiser. The kit is quality molded in a way which will allow the younger modeler to build an attractive replica without painting. If you wish to paint your model, follow these pictures for additional colors and details it says colors of content subject to change paint and cement not included in kit and you've got the matchbox logo and you've got an image of kirk and spock and the uss enterprise from a steal from the um movie uh, it's got leslie amt corporation po box 77338 baltimore um subsidiary of leslie products corporation and you've got all their registered details at the bottom and there you've got an image of the model kit um, as it needs to be painted. So if you wanted to paint it, you would follow the um, images on the side of the box. Okay, let's turn the box around again to the other side. And I think this is exactly the same as the other end. Um, easy to assemble hobby kit, ages eight and up. AMT, super detailed, new rainbow effect decals. New rub down transfers, over 15 inches long display, stand included or suspending space. Item number S971, sorry, S, yeah, S971, Star Trek, the motion picture, Klingon Cruiser, new, and you've got an image of the model itself, and it says Star Trek poster offer inside. And that's something we didn't have on the other side. So there we are, let's turn that back up the right way. Now, fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to look at it, I am unable to open the box on this because it is still factory sealed. Uh, so of course, if I open it, it's no longer considered to be new. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but if you have seen some of our other 
um, videos that we've done on the model kits of the time. You know exactly how they come. You get the instruction sheet inside. You've got the decals, and these are the new rainbow effect decals. And you get, obviously, all the pieces on the sprues. And the instructions are a, a, a image instruction showing you how to put the model kit together, how to build it. And you get also uh, at the end of the back side of the instructions, it gives you all the color codes um, and the paint numbers on the paint type. So if you want to paint the item, just follow that and then follow the images on the side of the box, as I showed you earlier. And then you can obviously paint the the model to how you think it should look or how it looked in the film okay so that is the model kit I just um, uh, another thing I want to point out is this is an, the actual first release of this particular model kit by AMT uh, which was released in conjunction with the movie so the movie was produced in 79 this kit was produced in 79 so it was the first one from Star Trek the motion picture they have re-released them um, I think two or three times after this kit but this is the very very first release of this particular one from the motion picture um so how well did they do well yeah i think they've done very well i mean back in 1979 uh, when star trek um suddenly appeared back on the big screen um it was um the first time since the original series that any star trek had been made so we were looking at 1969 i think uh, when the last um, episode of Star Trek was made, uh, the original series. Um, so then to have it back on the screen was a big thing. It did spawn a fair amount of merchandise. There was figures all produced by Mego. Uh, there was lots of other toys um, and things that were produced. There was um, uh, dinky models made and so on. So there was quite a lot of merchandise produced at the time, for the time, Um but no real great ship. So the model kits was the you know the, the way um, for us to have our own ship and build it and display it. So um, they certainly filled a big hole that was necessary at the time. Um, and they weren't difficult kits to build. They were um, fairly straightforward kits to make. So yeah, so they suited the younger builder and the uh, more experienced model builder. Um, so yeah, they done very well. Um, but uh, obviously over the, the years, um, things have changed. They've got obviously been built, they've um, broken up, they've been thrown away and what have you. Um, and every so often AMT have reissued um, the model slightly different or maybe it's just slightly different packaging, but it has been reissued several times. But say, finding an original 1971 one still sealed in the original box is very difficult indeed. Um, almost impossible to find, I would say. Well, there is one or two that you can pick up online, which I have seen on some of the platforms, um, but they're opened, bits are missing, um, they have been um, attempted or started. So, yeah, you just don't know. But this one, rest assured, is mint and still sealed, just like the day it was put onto a shop shelf. But that obviously does make them very collectible especially in this condition and very very difficult to find but you know it as usual we at Minus Touch have managed to find a few and they're currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below it takes you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Star Trek items and many other vintage toys games and collectibles come to that there's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we are uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website there will be something for everybody and i am absolutely positive you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis so if there is something in particular you are looking for something old that you've never been able to find Something quirky you might want to buy for a friend. Or maybe just something from your childhood that you like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned. Keep watching. Because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you again soon.